so after you were able to kind of break down a little bit what you saw um, and, and maybe distance yourself, what, um, you know, you mentioned maybe doing things differently, whether it be switching or whatever, what, what did you glean a little bit from your film review of, of how you guys handled, you know, the, the perimeter and the switching yesterday? Um, I guess I'm kind of go off track here. Uh, I think one of the biggest things was transition. Um, transition, transition de defense for us. I think they had 25 points in transition and then <clears throat> the free throw line. We got to keep them off the free throw line. Uh, they probably miss one free throw and, and, and that's huge. Um, so I, I think the disparity in that would, would help us out in that situation. And then, um, switching it up on, on Chris and, and, and book, uh, trying to make them more comfortable, not give them a steady diet of, of the same thing, uh, and doing that from the beginning of the game. So, um, we'll make, there will be some minor adjustments tomorrow. Ramona. Hey, Drew, I'm just wondering how your game changes when Giannis plays versus when he doesn't play. Like, what are the keys that you have in your head and sort of what you have to how – how you personally adjust? Right. Um, pick my spots to be aggressive, um, and I think sometimes it's gotten me in trouble. i got to be aggressive from the beginning of the game. Uh, sometimes it gets uh, just a, a, a bit difficult, or a, it's just a bit different, um, again, because we have another ball handler and somebody who's great in transition and, and makes plays for others. So uh, – Sometimes rhythm can be off, but um, I just got to continue to be aggressive. Go ahead, Eric. Uh, do you feel like you guys passed up some looks, like open? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Bud stuff? showed those to us. Uh, <laughs> um, just got to let them fly, you know. Um, I, I think I think some of the times when you feel like uh, they're swarming and they're contesting contesting fast, you you want to get a better shot, but that essentially is the best shot. Um. PJ is just in here. We we're talking about like the idea of like a soft switch and like how easy you give it up or don't give it up. What's your mindset kind of going into one a series and then as the series progresses in that regard? Like is game one one where you're like, hey, I'm supposed to switch here. Let's do it and see how it goes. Or the kind of how do you approach it? I mean, I don't want to say it's like a figure it out, but it's just kind of like um, this is the game plan and we're going to go with the game plan. And if that doesn't work, we'll adjust. Um, Sometimes it's end game, sometimes it's the next game. But um, again, I, I think we kind of figured that giving him or giving those two guys the same dose of uh, of, of action or defense um, doesn't work. Can I go ahead, please? Hey, Drew, as a man who knows defense pretty well yourself, what have you seen from, from Devin and in game one and just watching the film of him this year in terms of how he's improved? Um, yeah, he's. Uh, I think not only him, but as a team, they, they play defense well together. Um, defense isn't an individual sport, so uh, I think the way they load the paint, um, especially uh, DeAndre Aiden down there, just kind of anchoring that and him always being in the, uh, around the basket, is it, it makes it tough to, to see driving lanes. It makes it tough to go in there and even have easy layups. So um, they do a great job of, of packing the plate and playing defense together. Hey, Jar, I just want to go back. You were talking about, like, the difference in the game, and you mentioned transition and free throws. So with transition, do you feel like the turnovers were – do you think it was because of the turnovers that they got out in transition, and then do you feel like it was forced or just mental mistakes? What were you all seeing there? Um, some of them were transition. Some of them uh, I felt like it's just being eager, and, and when you see how fast they play and you see Devin Booker and Chris Paul just kind of uh, – going fast through the lane, you try to double team or do something and you kind of get out of character. Um, I think for the most part in transition, we have to be solid. Um, obviously Devin and, and Chris, but mostly Devin in transition, great at the basket, but um, we have to trust our defense. We have to trust our individual defense and then be able to spray back out to contest three. So. With the free throws, I know you were talking about their free throws, but what's the importance of you all countering that on the offensive end trying to get to the line? For sure. Um, playing in the paint. Uh, their defense does try to take that away. Again, like like I said earlier, they pack the paint very, very well, but we got to be smart, um, sell it a little bit, but we, we have to be in the paint a lot more. I feel like every series that we played in, uh, the games that we've won, we've been the best in the paint and scoring in the paint, so that's what we have to continue to do. Go to Zoom for a question. Go ahead, please. All right, let's go to Spencer Davies. 
Spencer Davies Basketball News dot com. Hey Drew, how do you kind of toe the balance between you know getting a good shot and make sure you don't pass it up, but also being patient within your offense, especially against such a uh, a, a defensive team that's disciplined? Yeah, uh, really, just take your time. Um, yeah, not not everyone is going to be perfect. Um, every situation is going to be perfect, but just trust in yourself, um, believe in your ability, and, and let it fly. Eric, go ahead, please. Final. Um, Sorry, this might sound dumb, but I'm going to ask you anyways. Um, what is it about, like, I think Book and, C- and CP are really good at the pump fake and, like, making it believable. Like, what is it about that? Like, Chris is really good at it, too. Like, what makes a pump fake good or believable or, like, can get you up? Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, for, I mean, for one, uh, a scorer, um, somebody who scores a lot and they're great at it and you know the spots that they like to get to so if it's mid-range with Chris and Book you pretty much think that it's it's going to go in and that's believable in itself but I think the way that they pump fake they show the ball um they show the ball they they you can see their eyes um they make it believable in that way so it's not only their actions but it's the uh the way they move they showing ball and all that so it, it makes it super believable Go to Jim for the final question. You guys have had to grind for offense. I mean, I'm thinking of going back to 86 points in game three against Brooklyn. Um, last night was one of the better shooting nights for you guys all around. I mean, I know every game is different, but what can can that lead to anything? Can that give guys confidence putting it up to a degree that for the first time really threes went in and, and a lot of those mid-range shots went in? Yeah, I don't think that um, – I don't think we're – super unhappy with our offense um i think that we can be we feel like we can be better defensively um and it's in it's an individual and 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 a team effort where we all feel that way um us getting to 100 points and and being able to play that way i know i didn't shoot well but we also made plays where guys were knocking in threes bryn had a couple uh brooke was knocking them in pat had uh, some key threes so um I wouldn't say offensively we're necessarily like disappointed in that. I think we did okay. We can we can do better, but uh, our, our our most um, I guess what we're really focusing on today was was our defense. And uh, every, I mean, every day we we got to grind it out. Uh, we played some of the best scores, and we've done different things in different situations. So uh, we've literally shown that defense wins games. Thank you.